again across the stripe. Seven to go for Justin Algar. Now, Matt Carter's having trouble with his race car, keeping it down on the white line. And so he will lose a spot on the track to the 20. Oh, and he comes up and slams into the back of the 20. That was Matt Carter getting right into the back of the 20, spinning him around. And that will bring out our 12th caution of the day. Yeah, I'm not sure why Matt Carter ran in the back of Justin Lofton. Justin right now is being shown a lap or two down, two laps down, actually. He got by. He was faster than Matt Carter got by him, and then Matt ran in the back of him coming off turn four. You know, Phil, obviously you've been behind the wheel of many, many race cars, but I'm guessing you're... Your temper gets to build up here toward the end of a race, and we did see that 20 of Justin Lofton right behind the 46 of Matt Carter through one and two. And we saw Carter kind of cheat up the racetrack. There may have been some contact there. There could have been, and, and right now Matt Carter's trying to race for a win, and he's got a guy, even though that Justin Lofton has been really, really fast, he's being two laps down right now. We're inside of 10 laps to go. You really don't want anybody messing with you yeah. when, you're, when you're racing for a win and you've got somebody two laps down. It's not going to do him any good to get by Matt Carter because right. Matt Carter's not the guy leading the race. He's not going to be able to get a lap back that way. So the caution has come out once again, the 12th time today. Let's take another look. Again, that's the 46 getting right into the back of the 20 of Justin Lofton. Justin does a great job doing a 360, keeps that car out of the outside wall. There's another view on our speed shot coming off four. There's the contact. Matt Carter gets on the back of him. Justin lights him up. Keeps it turning and then straightens the wheel out and continues on. Barely loses about one position on the racetrack. Yeah, and a lot of smoke going up in turn number four. And so the caution flag flies. Justin Algar. Well, the one thing that he probably doesn't like about the rules in the Arca Remax series is these races won't ever end, end under caution. We will always have a green flag or a checkered finish in the Arca Remax series. The good news for Justin, though, it will be a single file restart if he can get a good jump. But what a career this young man has had. And he, he is moving on up right oh, yes. now. He's moving on up to NASCAR. You can see, look at last season. He had a big win, only four top five finishes, 10 top tens. And that was a good season, finished right. fourth in points. And how about this season? Five wins already. 13 top five finishes in the first 20 races, and he's moving to Penske Racing. Phil, he's about five laps away from a championship I, 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 Arca Remax Series. We're not going to jinx him. We're not going to jinx him. <laughs> well, I'm not going to be superstitious. I want to enjoy watching this young man have success. And right now, it will be Justin Algeyer that will restart in front of the 46 of Matt Carter, the 44 of Frank Kimmel, the 60 of Patrick Sheltra, and the one of Tom Hessert III. We will have two laps to go when we get this restart. They will run two laps. Again, Arca Remax Series does not finish under caution. If we were to have a caution any time before the end of this race, that means we will re-rack, possibly one, run one or two laps on a green-white checker. Additional laps, potentially, but this would be the scheduled distance if we're able to get it concluded. When they come to the start-finish line this time, there will be two laps of racing to go. The field now in the hands of the 16 of Justin Algeyer. Right behind him, Matt Carter, he's shown his aggression. Let's see if he is able to keep that in check with two laps of racing to go. Green flag back in the air at Toledo. Great start by Justin Algar. He knows he's got a half a track before he sees any traffic. He just needs to stay in front of that 46 car. Justin Algar has a good lead over the 46. Two car lengths as they go through three and four. Coming out of turn number four, the white flag in the air. One lap to go on the 2008 season. Justin's got three or four car links right now over Matt Carter. We just need for this race to stay green for Justin. Justin Algar working his way through three and four. Here he comes out of four. Your 2008 champion, Algar, will win the race, his sixth of the season. What a tremendous job by Justin this entire season, his entire team. There's his dad, Mike, right there. I talked to him this morning at the hotel, and he, he was just tickled up to be here. Look at the smile on that face. You won't be able to wipe that off for weeks. What an amazing day for Justin Algar. He came into this points championship third at the start of this race. 
He was 110 points back from Scott Speed. And now the celebration begins for Justin Allgaier. The burnout right on the start-finish line in front of the flag stand. And the crowd here in Toledo absolutely eating it up. Jim Trano, I think you have got somebody that is really excited to be talking to you right now. Absolutely. He asked me, did we win the championship? Focused on the finish. You did not crack a smile to the checkered flag gator. This is huge. What does it mean for you and your family? Well, it's not over till it's over, so don't ever ask anything before the race is over. But this is unbelievable. It's just, I don't even know how to say it now. You know, I'm not at a loss for words usually, but it's it's pretty amazing. Uh, just everything that happened today played our way and thank God. Andy Belmont, Billy Venturini were the first to shake your hand coming off that box. Has to mean a lot for as much as time and effort and money you poured into your son's career. Well, it just, you know, we've been in ARCA our whole life and ARCA has been our life and Justin gets a chance now to maybe do some other things, but it's so special. I, I Championship wasn't even a thought. We hoped for, for the race, so it worked out better than it could ever happen. Gator is off to celebrate with his son, Justin, who's been racing with him for 16 years. The exciting thing for Justin Algar will be he'll park his car right next to the championship stage. Take a look at this. Ken Schrader making his way over. He also wants to be there to congratulate young Justin Algar. The celebration has started and it will continue. We'll hear from the winner next. And how about this? Justin Algar is about to climb out of the race car. Let's let him do it. Six times a winner. No win bigger than today for a whole lot of reasons. Justin, on the outside, chance of a championship. And you raced hard for the win. It, well, you weren't going to back down, man. What does this mean for you and the entire operation? These guys are awesome. Um, there's no words to describe what, what, a, what a feeling it is right now. Frank's won it for the past couple of years. And, and I, I know now what the feeling he goes through. And this is unbelievable. Jim Pullman, the crew chief, all these guys. It's unbelievable. But who's driving west? Ag Tech. This car was awesome. Uh, we, we just fought all day, tried to get to the front, and man, these guys are awesome. I can't say enough about them. When did it click that you had a chance for the championship and the race to the end of the race, knowing that you had the championship in hand, but still wanted the win? Well, to be honest with you, I knew at the beginning there that things were getting pretty heated, and you know, I kind of knew how many points we were out, but I really wasn't focused on where we, how many spots we needed to finish ahead of them. And honestly, they wouldn't tell me either. But you know, they uh, they just kept saying, just keep hitting your marks and doing good. I knew the 46 and the 44 and the 60 were all coming on new tires. Wanted to try to be able to beat them, but you know, I got to thank God because he he gave me the ability to do this. All these guys to be here in victory lane to win the sixth race of the year to be the champion it feels awesome your mom is here your dad's here this future was built when you were a five-year-old quarter midget racer now the future is yours to, to take it started when i was five it's it's not over hopefully by any means um you know to, to get a call from roger penske and, and sign a contract there was great to to top a year off with that i don't know how we could have done that and to get a championship i think uh I think I've had the best year in the world anybody could ever have. This has just been a phenomenal year, and we're just so excited about going to the banquet and, and getting moving into 2009. A very, very bright future for the 2008 ARCA Remax Series champion, Justin Allgaier. Guys? Yeah. Hey, and no one more deserving. Uh, I'm telling you, this family and that young man have worked so hard, and they have stayed so true to the goal of continuing his racing career. And by looking at his race car, he drove so much like a veteran today, not a scratch on that race car. He is a veteran. He just happens to be a veteran in a young person spotted. But as you can see right here, what a great battle. If we had four guys coming in here mathematically with a chance to win the championship, Justin Allgaier comes from 110 points behind. You can only get 210 points maximum in the race. Right. He comes from 110 points behind, leapfrog Scott Speed and Ricky Stenhouse Jr. to win this championship. And don't forget now, Jim Pullman was not with this team when they started the season. He came along mid-season, and it's been nothing but looking up ever since.